again I'm back. Right, so it's um, some acquisitions. Know them all, because some of them are away. And um, what will I start with? I think I'll start with the Down Cheapy Lane, because if America have got theirs, and I've seen it on two podcasts, then I know it's fair enough I can share it. I done the Down Cheapy Lane by Debbie. Um, the Stephen King Club. And the first month was it. I'm so looking forward to this next month. I, if you want a chance to win it, go to two, two different podcasts because Debbie sent them both a giveaway for one of the month's club, whether it's this month coming or the next month, I don't know. But um, Yarn Hoarder, she's got it in hers and I found out this morning, not in it wits, I've got it on theirs. Um, so if you want to chat, I've got the, I'm, I'm buying the club, so um, I've already got mine ordered for next month. Um, I don't know what the third month will be, but the next month's misery and I'm really, really looking forward to seeing what she does with that because I love that blooming film. I've never read the book, I'm going to get the book um, because I've, I've seen it at years ago, I think. And um, I can't even remember it, but I got the book and I've been basically sitting for the last maybe week and a half, well basically 50 hours worth. I could have stopped listening to it. It was amazing. The book is amazing. <laughs> so much. My, my daughter has only ever watched the film and I'm telling her about business. She's going, no, that's not in it. No, that's not in it. And I'm going, it's in the book. You need to get the book. So she's going to come down, I think it's um, Tuesday, and we're going to sit and watch the original it to see the difference. Um, I'm going to listen to the book again because obviously I'll have missed loads of bits, you know, being busy, maybe stuck in a bit of pattern or whatever, but I'm going to listen to it again. But anyway, so back to the club. This is Nobody Likes a Clown at Midnight, and Oh, I knew there'd be yellow in it, I say that, say that to my daughter. Debbie put up a kind of sneak preview and there was a kind of like red dye going down a drain and she went, no, oh, we sneaky peek at the It Club and I'm going, bet there's yellow in it, I bet there's yellow in it and yellow. Now, I've already done this and it would take me a month but I'm going to end up casting these on quite soon anyway because I'm going to make socks with this, definitely. I need socks. We all float. <laughs> I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Look at that. And I'm well impressed. Well, well impressed, Debbie. I love it, love it, love it. So anyway, you did get some nice wee stuff with it. Um, I've attached the wee stitch marker to the paper boat um, because, just to show you it, but there was um, a balloon stitch marker. I love the wee origami boat for Georgie. You know how he goes out sailing the boat, and <sighs> right. And there was a chocolate. I ate the chocolate straight away as soon as the club came. My daughter goes, "You didn't keep my bits, I couldn't." It was one chocolate. Because <laughs> every time Debbie says your package, so we sweet or something, and I always eat it. So she <laughs> you got a red balloon. I know I love mine. I've seen the other badges and um, they're just Pennywise a clown. But mine says um, We all float. <laughs> oh, you can see it. But, oh my god, I love it. I'm not attached that to my button monster yet so you can see it. But, oh my goodness. So that's, nobody likes a clown at midnight, except for me and my daughter, who love clowns. <laughs> Claire actually dressed up as that one, he's Halloween. It was so good. I need to see if I can get that picture and put it on Instagram. Um, so, 
imagine I got a book on. And it came in a nice wee baggy. Um, love it. Love it every bit of it. So I'm looking I'm really looking forward to the misery. Um club to uh, aye, next month's club to see how it goes. Oh I was gonna show you these. Everybody's going off a bit on and on about these um pins are now. I've got a collection of them. I was collecting these for years and it was getting to the stage I had them on every jacket seeing four on the lapels and a lot of charity ones and places I've been so I've got a Canada, well I've not been to Canada but I've got a Canadian one. What did I get the Canadian one for? I've got a Canadian one, I've got Irish ones, I've got Scottish ones, quite a lot of Scottish ones, um, a lot of charity ones. I love a wee Scottish guy. Oh, you see him. Oh, almost a pin off him. Okay. I don't know if you can see him. A wee Scottish troll with his kilt on. <laughs> Is he a wee Scottish guy? Oh no, he's just a wee Scottish guy with his kilt on. And he's Tammy. He's so cute. I mean, I've got loads. I've got a, one that I got in a hotel room. Um, they'd left it behind. It was for New Zealand. So it's a New Zealand feather. Thistles. I've got a zebra. I've got a wee angel. I've got the torch. I've got a wee leprechaun. Uh, Oh, I mean, I've got loads, loads and loads, and that's one with a H. So I've got the Canadian and the Scottish flag together. So what I was thinking, because I was thinking, although I would love um, a bag to put them on, none of the bags have got, like, flaps in them, so it's a case of they're going to catch you in the rule or whatever, your project and things like that, because the wee pins have got wee bags on them. So I thought to myself, how can I just, dis- oh, apart from my Tasmanian look, Manchester United Tasmanian, but it's not a pin pin, it's a badge. Oh, it's a Vodafone one, but it's Man United. <laughs> I love Tasmanian Devil as well. So anyway, I've got my canvas real, real face bag that I never really use. It's a nice bag, but I never really use it. So I was thinking I'm going to put all the pins in the back and hang it up in the wall. So, an idea. I love pins. Love them. I've been collecting them for years, as I say, years and years. So it's no nothing new. But, but the, the knitter ones, they're new. I've never seen any of them. So I've not got any knitting ones yet. So I need to get some knitting ones. Right. So what else did I get? I was showing you. Oh, my wrist ruler. Of course, I had to. I'll take my Amethyst uh, Aquarius. Oh, can't get it off now. That's my Aquarius one, it's leather and that's quite a nice wee one. That cost me just the shipping. It was a special deal on Facebook. And anything for leather, for me. So I get the dark wrist ruler. Because I've got them in the UK now. And the mine's a 16 inch. And it's I Love Handles wrist ruler. I can't remember, where did I get it from? I think it was the only UK site that... I've seen it on Etsy, but no one... It was a UK site. If I can remember, I'll link it. But anyway, so I got my dark colour. I don't remember my watch, but then it was obscuring my face, so I could never see the time, and I thought, oh, I'll just stick it on the other wrist. With my... Wee guy. The reason the pins on is because I don't like um it's quite open this. <laughs> modest, you know. <laughs> Very modest. So Perth Festival of Yarn, I'm thinking this is really going to be a long one. It's going to be like three sections because I think somebody was saying that Ross was saying he can't edit anymore, but I've not tried so I don't know. But anyway, so when when I went to Perth Oh, that's my daughter coming back. Um, I'll probably get any trouble because I'm still podcasted. Um, 
I won this as a door prize. And I've never had quing fibre before. Um, it's a single ply. I don't think I've ever met with a single ply either. So anyway, I won this as a door prize. But I didn't know about it until Eva told me. So it was fabulous. So I won that. This was in the... It was a giveaway bag. I've got the bag in the room. I've got it through, but I've got the prize bag because I bought a prize bag to give away. Um, so I did get other stuff. I got a mug and I got stuff to give away. And I got minis and I got one skein of yarn for Eva's shop. But this was in, in part of the goodie bag. Um, but you've seen the goodie bags if you've seen other people's podcasts. So this was Caledonian Dye Works and she's lovely, that's Tanya, and there's a giveaway for her, very generous, I couldn't believe it. She's going, you pick, it, pick us something for a giveaway, and I said, no, no, I can't, I can't, I've never been faced with that before. So if you want to give something away, you pick it. So she picked the giveaway, which I'll show you. Um, it was one of the colours I was like, mm, well, I get it, well, I know, but I got it, of course the greens for me. This is my colour and I love it. So this is um, petticoat tail she calls them and uh, Caledonia dye work. 520 grams, 75-25 superwash merino nylon. Sorry for the crinkling but it's lovely. I really like this colour here. I like them all. So anyway, so they were in the goodie bag, so they had two wee minis in the goodie bag. And this was in the bag from Jen, it's part of, to go into my blankets. It's a Lorna's Laces and it's in Pilsen colourway, 8020. So blankets are going to be very happy. Then I bought, and I got this. Stitch marker weight. It's um I stole the one of Debbie's bag for my hat. <laughs> no, it wasn't for my hat, what was it for? It's on something anyway. But anyway, um that's all the houses. Game of Thrones. So that came with it and it was Game of Thrones mini pack from Ovis Yarns, who I met the night before uh, the meal, um, Becky and her husband Steve, and they were up for Liverpool. Well, of course, I'm Liverpool mad. And I'm like, oh, you need to get something done in Liverpool. There's nothing to Liverpool. Get something sorted for Liverpool. I'll come, I'll come. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, Stark, Lannister, Greyjoy, Targaryen, and White Walkers. So, I know, what is it? Um, it's just a limited edition, to tell you. 75 BFL and 25. Marshall. So that is different. So I'm not going to put name into my blanket. Then the only other woolly pro <coughs> product I bought was I got for Eva. And my aunt's like, can you dye me up a colourway for a sweater and that? And I'm like, oh, I don't know if I'm really be great. <laughs> but I'll try. So this is 8020 um, Superwash Merino and Nylon. Autumn, Autumn Glow it's called and it's Melted Moblet Dye Works so and I just loved it that's just me I love it and the shade mini skein so I got two for my blankets so no oh and I got these wee guys so I say I got all the stitch markers you'll see them over time but I got these three Chapel View crafts because I thought I've got loads of the clip on ones but I don't really have one. I'll add one Battenberg one that my friend gave me um, stitch marker actual stitch markers so I got a donut no no a donut a jammy dodger a piece of pink cake and a chocolate digestive and a bit of Battenberg so that's Chapel View so that's all my acquisitions Oh no, minis. 
for behave, we be it was on the hang mate. <coughs> behave your hands. No, I was on watching telly through Bendy and she was showing me a skein of yarn and she's going that and she's like, oh she's in the UK and I'm like, oh I find out about all these UK diaries through American <laughs> podcasts. <laughs> but anyway, she's in Yorkshire. Well Yorkshire as well, don't I? Um I love York. Beautiful place. Um, Skipton, been through it. Um, and I think I'm going to Yarndale next year, definitely going to. So this is her wee tag. So I've got a wee set of minis. Because next year I think I'm just going to be buying new minis for my blankets. See, I've got so many on the go. Because don't forget, I've still got my knitted ones. So this was a wee pack of minis for Beehive Yarns and they feel delish. I like, I love this one. I love this one. I love this one. <laughs> so, that is all my acquisitions and they know it's just a case of talking about my giveaways and, and that alone starts from today. I'll talk, I think I've got enough time to talk about that long before I get into the giveaways. The lovely Jane who sent me the bag in the yarn, sent a bag for use. You know, as soon as i seen it, I'm like, oh, I want to keep it. <laughs> but I won't, because <laughs> she sent it for use. I've got a nice card. <laughs> and um, I thought, how sweet, just because she likes my podcast. And I keep you entertained. <laughs> Only knows how, but oh my god, this is so cute. Oh my god. Not just the bag. And it's got the wee carabiner thing on the side. Well, I don't think that's a carabiner, it's a large lobster clasp. You could add a carabiner to it as well. And it's got the swirls and it's got the wee leather. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. And you get teas. Same teas I got. Spiced apple cider, hearty spice tea, and salted caramel. And she says if I had two together, it's beautiful. I need to look and see because I'm sure it was on Facebook. She sent me a message because she's for heading back to the UK. She's in, I think, Washington. Um, the new. I'm asking her if she's near any Amish places to get my <laughs> to get an Amish T-shirt as well. I know my friend's going back to America at some point, but. Um, two Amish t-shirts so just be as well as one because my poor old Amish t-shirt's just about dead. It's a big hole under there and it's like dots. But it is coming up for 12. Do you know what I mean? It'll be 12 in February. <laughs> but I tell you that's good lasting for a t-shirt and I wore it constantly. It's not like I never wore it. Keep it precious. Keep it precious. So well done Americans for your fabric lasting 12 years. Um, it will last another 12 years because I'm never going to do it. So you get teas and you get a wee pouchy and inside the wee pouchy you've got a... I'll need to take it out so you can see it, it's so cute. I have not taken it out of this yet. So you get your wee candle. I mean, this is absolutely beautiful, wee candle. Then you've got a couple of wee lock and stitch markers and then you've got a Halloween lolly. Progress Keeper. Honesty. So if that's not join, worth joining that long for, then I don't know what it is. Because I thought, she's not got a shop open yet, so I can't say you get to go to a shop. Plus, if you're doing a blanket, so I'll need to wind this one, you get two wee minis. And it's a sock bag. It fits a sock. She's, she uses hers all the time. Oh my god. So from the 1st of October till the 31st of October. Now you'll not get it obviously in time for this Halloween. Because it finishes at Halloween. Um, but you'll have it for next Halloween. For your Halloween socks. So. Not a pair of Halloween socks for this. Not alone. Any socks. Not a pair of socks. And you can have a chance to win this. 
So, but it's going to be in the group. It's going to be must be a member of the group, and obviously must be in rivalry. talking to me there. So look at that, I, I don't know, can you see him? Look at the owl. And the cat. The cat's amazing. I love this fabric, Jane. So, yeah. So this is in it along. Right, I'm going to stop this and start again because I've got a funny feeling I'm not about the half.